Hello world, I'm Agitated Crane, we are back in Darksiders and let's just uh, jump into it, right? So, uh, I haven't really explored this section, I only recently discovered it, I remember there was like a serious issue of me not being able to find um, where to go next. So I'm very happy that I finally noticed the side alley that was leading here. And we have some zombies. But I feel like... If I killed the, <laughs> that uh, construct boss, I feel like I should not have issues with uh, a couple of zombies. Okay, so we have this. Uh... I don't think we should be going that way, but I want to look at this. Is this a, this is supposed to be harbor, uh, ha harbor, right? Yeah, ship. <laughs> Just noticed the ship, loading cranes. So I wonder if we will go to the ship or not. I feel like that would be cool. Would it be cool? Who knows? Uh -huh. I think I can sort of drop here. Oh, secrets? No, that. <laughs> Come on, game. Come on. You give you give me an obvious way to go like that. It's obviously a secret, and and you and you kill me. Come on. What is wrong with you? Mm, if I remember cor correctly, in this section there are some invisible assholes, so I should be very careful when moving. Oh, okay. What is it? Something about this place. Oh, you wish to repent for your sin. I will not waver to cleave the watcher head from your watcher body. Less sarcasm. Noted, mistress. <sighs> Shut your eyes! Too bright. What is that? Well, well, well. Imagine my disappointment. To think that this is the best the council has to offer. You are what? They send the lowliest. You don't look very lusty. Pride? Charming yeah, pride. Silver. I've come for you. <laughs> oh, really? As if you'd know what to do with me if you could have me. Please, spare me. Are you not one of the great seven deadly? Fight me instead of cowering, you pompous, pathetic excuse! Your talks excuse. are a waste of breath, horsemen. No more an annoyance than the buzzing of a fly. Beneath my notice, like everything else in the Creator's grand experiment, even the greatest treasures of heaven and hell pale beneath my light. Scurry back to the hole you were born from. Perhaps when I am the only sin left on this sad little rock, you will be worthy of an audience with me. When I'm done, there will be no sins left standing. So you say. Considering your current state, I find it highly unlikely that we'll ever meet again. But by the rare chance you do earn my favor, find me an airy. Though I highly doubt a creature such as yourself would be welcome in a place so refined. I encourage you to surprise me, horsemen. Until that time? What an insufferable creature. Oh. 
so I can actually go there and I don't know it looks like an arena right away um, you know what I'm going to not go there just yet um, oh we can actually jump down there I think we were there at one point, no? I mean, I don't see items, so that's what I'm judging it by. And... I will probably go there by going through the church. Okay. So, I wanted to mention that they did a really great job with um, sins. Well, I mean, probably not all of them. I think I... Uh, um, when we met s uh, others, I think I I liked Slot a lot. Um, all that thing about uh, wiping his arse with uh, angel wings and stuff like that. Uh, can we climb this? No. This is not a climb game. So how would one go upstairs? Uh, probably from the from the cath cathedral or church or whatever this is. Um, but for example, Envy, I don't remember her being very envious. Um, then Vrat was Vrat, okay. And uh, then the... Um, what was the third boss that we fought? Not gluttony. Uh, fuck. Avarice. Was it Avarice? No, Av Avarice is right. Ah, my English is bad. Greed. Greed. I think it's Avarice. Well, you can educate me in the comments if you wish to. <laughs> uh, greed, but I think in the game he was called Avarice. So. That one, I don't think we really tal talk with, talked with him much. Uh, he's... And, and even like his arena, he, he was uh, granted in the, in the museum. And he had a bunch of loot, but at the same time he had stuff like... Uh, bathtubs and toilets. So I think uh, he, he was... He was more like... Um, Okay, so my interpretation of greed is actually someone who likes uh, who likes to uh, collect stuff, which would go well with uh, with the museum or ga gallery with paintings and stuff like that, uh, and also someone who likes to hoard. Uh, stuff, but uh, not hoard stuff like bathtubs, but instead stuff like uh, v valuable stuff like uh, gold and stuff like that. So I was actually surprised that all, a lot of his hoarding was trash. But I guess it, it makes sense now that I'm talking about it, that he would be greedy for everything. Now, oh, that is going to burn. Okay, I'm pretty sure there is. Never understand their attachment to such things, mistress. They cling so desperately to this iconography, the symbolism of heaven and hell. They, humanity, for thousands of years they held the fruit of creation in their hands, but ignored it to squabble over totems and fables. Whatever the creator saw in them. Um, so I'm thinking there is an ambush here somewhere. So I'm trying to, like, don't jump in blindly too much. Also, she mentioned iconography, but I'm not seeing any in here. In fact, it looks like it's very tame. In the sense, like, they, they don't want to show you, like, 
actual religious stuff on Windows and stuff like that. Which, which you would normally expect. Uh -huh. Also, also, I think this is the first time that um, uh, Creator is mentioned fully. Previously, there were there was talk about creations and creation and stuff like that, but I don't remember them flat out saying like. Yeah, creator is a thing. So then we have something like a like a god in this universe. That is nice to know, right? So this would burn, right? now has a way to go but first i want to check this graveyard i remember there being that asshole there so i'm thinking oh and you can go upstairs as well okay so a lot of a lot of places to go a lot of things to see we have that there as well for that i don't remember what we need for that i think you can blow it up with um with um, the beetle, but um, other than that, I think you need a special weapon for that, which uh, is a different hollow form entirely. And I am suspecting that you get that whole form by defeating Pride. She sort of looked purplish, right? Um, oh. That thing over there is actually a very tough enemy. Is he someone in this this ass balls? Ow. Uh, let's loot this. Yeah, I think he does. Okay, so let's let's try to get him. Ow! Wait, did I just? Did I just pull him over to me? I was not aware that is possible. He did. Nice. I actually did not ex expect it to be this easy. Uh, this statue, a very nice statue, actually, but uh, I feel like it's something. No, it's nothing. I guess I'm still in Dark Siders 2 mode where stuff like that is draggable. Secret Angelic Artifact. Oh, I guess it was worth it. So now let's go upstairs on the scaffolding. And I think uh, the main way is downstairs. Since I don't foresee upstairs to have much. Oh. Um, I don't foresee upstairs to have many ways to go just a couple of items i guess here is one healing shard not something that i would use ever can you break this i guess not it is in undestructible wood 
But hold on. Ah, there is more scaffolding, okay. At least it's not um, insane platforming. Very easy, very easy. Um, I already know the answer, but yes, we're going down there. See, an outpost of the angels. But that isn't our exact mission. It became our mission when I found my horse skewered by angel spears. Wait. Where? There? I'm not seeing any outpost of angels. Where does... Where is she seeing outpost of angels? Also, I guess it's something I didn't comment on. Uh, because uh, I guess I... I haven't really noticed it as much, uh, or maybe I thought it was obvious. Um, our horse, which I don't remember its name, uh, uh, it's not. Ru ruin is for war, despair is for death. Rampage. R Rampage is uh, Fury's horse. So I don't. Um, when we summoned it uh, during the, the fight with Vrat, um, it was uh, dead. And by that I mean it had uh, a spear stuck inside inside of it. All, or I guess in its, in its side. And this is something, as I said, I didn't comment much on. But the spear was actually the angel spear. So angels killed our horse. Which is very strange. Now, granted, we are in. Uh, like th this is the thing, right? I'm, I'm, I'm still not quite sure what um, riders' reputation is. I guess I know they are supposed to uphold the balance between uh, angels and demons. Or I guess uh, for all the creation, and it would stand to reason. Oh, I didn't loot this. It would stand to reason that, uh, as such, they are respected. At the same time, they uh, killed uh, the other Nephilim, so I guess um, they are considered. Um, they betrayed. The Nephilim is by killing them, so I guess and they sh they would have this n negative reputation as well. Uh, and at this point in time, war is considered to have started the apocalypse. So Helgard, which are the angels uh, on Earth currently, uh, I guess are cross with um, riders. So I guess it makes sense. For them to kill to kill the horse, even though I feel like I mean we are not exactly on the same side, but uh, I don't know. It, it it feels like nuking Switzerland without reason because that that's what uh, the riders are for me. They are uh, the neutral faction. They are a neutral faction concerned with uh, concerned with uh, upholding the balance. So I guess we are in catacombs, and I guess um, Wulgrim was fairly nearby to this place, so I, we are probably not going to see him right around the corner. Ambush? Nope. Just stuff. Nothing there. Handles are not a thing in Darksiders. 
Oh. Okay. That fire hollow weapon is not doing as much damage as I would like. Strength shard. You. I want to test my... Okay. Test it. <laughs> Done. Mm. I noticed my Nephilim Respite is recovered, so that's nice. Wasn't this sarcophagi, or whatever you call them, supposed to be destructible? I think I remember destroying some of them in uh, other zones. Okay, so I did a circle there, so this is a way to go. Huh? I think I saw an enemy. No? No enemy? Sorry, I'm looking for secrets. Are those archers? Ah, fuck. Hold on. The pole arm had... Uh, for you can also charge and throw the spear to hit targets at range. How does one switch to... Mm -hmm. How does one switch to throwing spears? I wonder. That's not fixed. Let's switch. Ow. Oh, come on. Ow. How do I throw it? Game? Okay. We actually do, do have uh, a controls here somewhere. Um, swipe. Sky Piercer. Crossover. Eh? Ah, I guess. I see. Um, back to controls. Dashing bolt. Okay, rapid bolt. Okay. The fuck. I guess that guy is busy. Um, never remember respect. Nice. So, what you doing? Oh, he seems angry. Okay, well, that was my fault. He seems to be very tough. I wanted to check 
in the options, in gameplay, I guess. If we could get. Uh, will it be in graphics? Nope. Well, it's definitely not keybind. And it's definitely not the language, okay. Uh, what I was looking for is to show, like, health bars on enemies because I want to know what is going on. And I don't at this point. Will there be skeletons again here? Or was that a one-time thing? Or am I supposed to go a little bit further for them to spawn? Who knows? Well, my souls are here. So these are easy to recover, I guess. Even though I guess I didn't have that, that many. Eh, come on. Ah, come on. No need to be annoying. Eh. Come on, I was behind the... 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 what, what do you call it? That's... not what I wanted at all. Why are you so... Why did that, that asshole shoot me through the, through the tree? Behind there. There's something in here as well. I don't remember what item I used. Shame on me. It's okay. I should be dodging this as well. I feel like I was dodging it. Okay. Well, I'm not dodging for the purpose of counter, I guess. Well, he dead. Let's heal. Just in case. And let's see if there is anything in here as well. Aside from breakables. Nothing upstairs. I have some thorns. I guess this is what I used. I'm... Hold on, let, let me just quickly check what the fuck did I use. Um... Piercing aura which reflects a portion of an ink and mean damage back at the attacker. Okay. So. Fine. Ah, I see this. Let's open it up. Some more souls. I'm looking if there are any holes in the ceiling where I should, where I could go. Okay, come on, I can squeeze through that, surely. Fury hates pottery, or at least that's my head cannon. Okay. Okay. So wait, is this the place that I saw from from upstairs? We yes, it is. are defined by a great many things. Our mission, our gifts, and our solitude. 
for so long. I cannot even remember. Rampage was my only companion. Mistress, I... Forget it. The horseman is not defined by the horse. But the horse is the, in, the, in the name. It's actually something that I... Uh, that I'm concerned with. I'm not sure if the horses are uh, immortal. So, well, I mean, obviously it, it got killed, but uh, I wonder if um, we will get it back eventually, like if, if it can be resurrected. Uh, for example, that, um, spoilers by the way, uh, dies at the end of Darksiders 2. So, but he gets uh, summoned nonetheless in Darksiders 1 ending. So I guess um, what I'm wondering is if we get properly summoned, would that uh, summon our horse as well? Or is it completely dead and we have to find a new horse? In either case, um, I didn't like that they killed the horse because um, Because for, for me, Darksiders are horsemen, right? And if um, if the game doesn't have much of the horse riding, uh, it's, uh, it's not the same. Uh, should I be going from here or from somewhere else? And should I be going there or not at all? Oh, I see. I'm going there and then I can go back with uh, with a whip. Whip! Ah! Okay. I guess I was greedy. Okay. So yeah, I was I was concerned that uh, I w when I saw that uh, uh, there were no controls for for the horse uh, in the control section, but at the same time, uh, considering that we have like um, basically Dark Souls game, it sort of makes sense that we won't be getting it. I guess I have to burn it. I'm starting to see more of these. Well, I guess that that's not fair. I saw the... Um, uh, what do you call it? The purple one as well, so I, I guess... I guess it's just a bunch of shortcuts. And I'm guessing that's the way to go. And something that I... I think I missed, actually. Uh, when we were in Subway, uh, we got uh, caught by the spider. And I don't think we saw that spider ever again. Um, I lost one of the episodes from the Subway, but I'm pretty sure it was not there. And when I was going through all the episodes, I'm pretty sure the spider that captures us and um, puts us into the subway uh, does not appear later at all so far so i'm guessing now with all the eggs here maybe we are going towards the spider look up ahead mistress what is that probably something new to kill oh fuck we are really in Darksiders, no, not Darksiders, Dark Souls territory. I don't want to fight it, I don't know what it is. 
So if I don't attack you, you chill. If I use you like a trampoline. realm is this considered adorable? Perhaps that's an overstatement, but it is innocent. Nothing in this world is innocent. Huh. Okay. So how does one put you here? I don't exactly want to attack it, but and I don't want to get near it too much. Oh. I see. Okay. Fine. Okay, game. I'm 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 not going to pretend to understand you. I think I mean how, how does one lock in on stuff, caps lock? Well, that doesn't show health either, so... Fuck. I, I was wondering if it has, like, health and if you can kill it and... And that way, like, lock yourself At least from your some section. Served a purpose. Harsh, even for you, mistress. I actually agree with the Watcher. They are sort of adorable. Since they are not attacking me... I can get behind them. Not in the sexual way, but like, if they form a union or something like that, I don't know. Oh! Um... These bugs actually remind me of my Banelink fight. And I'm a little bit concerned because I don't want to fight that that thing again. Alright. Stuff gets killed. More purple shit. Understandable. Is it me or does the game feel a little bit too easy? Ah. Well, I take it back. Well, no. It, it, it does feel a little bit too easy. I am suspicious. We are either getting towards towards a very strong enemy or a boss or something like that. Or it is trying to lull me into this false sense of security. Maybe there is an ambush incoming or something like that. Why is this so peaceful and empty? Also, I feel like we are due to Bulgrim. Yeah. There is our cathedral. And we are in Bonelands. Okay, so we couldn't drop down, but uh, there is actually a way to go here. And I see Bulgrim place. 
So if one drops here... So is the water like that? Nope. And our friend Wugrim is here. Um, Take your time. Um, If I sell this, hold on, let me, oh, you can actually buy all of, all of them, unlimited use. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to sell all of this shit, because I don't foresee myself using it. Now, uh, you, you may not agree, but I'm, I'm not much into consumables, so I, like, I, and I, I don't know, I feel like uh, the game would be way too easy, maybe. We have Flame Hollow armor that we can purchase now. Um... I remember there being an armor that gives you more lurchers from Shattering Crystals, but I think uh, I saw maybe in Crucible there was one that gave you more than 5%. You know what? I am buying this one. Okay. A wise decision, as you wish. Okay. Well now. Uh, where does one switch your armor? In here. And we have base armor, which is base armor. Armament of Divinity, I believe, is armor that you get from um, uh, pre-purchase of the game. Now, I, I do not endorse pre-purchasing of the game. Or pre-ordering, I guess. But, um, like, I am a huge Darksiders fan, so I think I am excused. And so this one actually has, like, some stats. It gives us um, physical damage reduction is, I guess, the only one that is interesting to us, since I'm not using flame uh, damage much. And let me just look, let me just see how we look normally, and then let's switch it. It's also blue armor, so I'm guessing eventually we will be having like purples and maybe even oranges. Yeah, we look, we look different. I'm fine with it. Uh, this is not destructible, I don't know what this is. This is a banner. Obviously. Why is there a banner? Who knows? This trek would be much easier on horseback. Who too soon? Do you want to get killed? Again, you're here to watch, not to speak. Oh, I'm here for much more than that. Is dying on your agenda? A threat. I haven't decided yet. There seems to be something very strange going on. Also, what the fuck is that? That is a floaty boy. Also, thinking about there being bones. Uh, these are probably veil bones or something like that, right? Anyway. These are huge bones, so... Gluttony, perhaps? Like, he's eating sh shit and leaving bones behind. 
Um, about the plot of the game, I think I covered this already a bunch of times, but uh, the very first hollow, not the whole, the very first scene that we catch is um, Envy. And it is shown that we are a little bit envious of the um, of other horsemen. I'm looking for... Um, uh, where would I have it? Here maybe? Yeah. No, that's the film respite. Talisman of Sim. Allows to catch, capture an imprisonment. There is almost nothing that is seven fear on this or any other plane of existence. They will spread their poisonous destruction as long as they are able, with no thought given to their own preservation. There is one thing, something that strikes terror in their rotten hearts captivity. Um, I think like this is slowly going to influence us. And I think the the watcher that ha that uh, the chart console was given to us um, is actually trying to influence us as well to be like more susceptible to these sins is a trap so what the fuck are you ow I sort of miss, missed his attack. <laughs> like I, I couldn't notice what what his attack actually is. But we are very close to Wulgrim, so we can we can see maybe I can learn what the fuck is going on there. Okay, no, no. First, recover souls. Then deal with bullshit. Ow. Man, you should die faster. Okay. Like you should be already dead. Okay, finally. Uh, feels very spongy. I guess it makes sense. Like we are in a new area, so maybe enemies have like more health. But I don't know. I I really don't like when uh, you meet an enemy. Oh, what the fuck is that? And why did it trigger so far away? Oh! The so question, was that thing summoned by that caster over there? Because I feel like it was. Then this has all is ranged. Fine. Very annoying. Let's kill it. Ah, I see he's, he summons these um, little guys. I think they are shroomy guys. Right? Oh. 
We are dying. Okay, this one is dead, and now only one is left. Come on. Okay. I panicked there for a little bit, but uh, we managed to make it work. Seems okay. Fat loot, nice. Mm. Not seeing much else there. That, that guy is just hanging around. Nice, nice. Uh, another one of these mushroom people. I see another infused enemy. Not a fan of those. But looks like he's alone, so we should... Not have too much trouble with him. Like if we, it seems like if if we are careful, we can deal with them fairly easily. Right? Can you die? Come on, die faster. Thank you. Another piece of adamantine. Inveg invigorating core. I forgot what invigorating core is for. Um, items. I think it's for upgrading something. No? Where the fuck did it go? Um... Um, it's not consumable. I'm not seeing it in here. By the way, the the guy uh, Targon. Uh, there is Crucible in Dark Siders too, and I finally visited it. But um, the manager there looks like Targon, but I think it's not the same guy. He, he looks... Uh, he has the same armor, but uh, his color scheme is a little bit different. And when we first met uh, Targon, I think uh, we received like achievement might, might win or something like that. So I'm guessing uh, in Darksiders 2 it's a different um, Targon, if that makes sense. Ooh, souls! There. There is a sneaky place here. I first want to make sure that all the enemies in here are defeated. Oh! Uh, I'm guessing we want to go there with him. Okay, so how does this navigating actually works? Do I like hit it from here? I guess so. So it's just movable platform then. He doesn't get offended, he doesn't try to kill me. Okay. I guess it works. Yeah. And this is probably the way to go to continue. Oh. There are a lot of places to go actually. Okay, let let's um Check the inside of that building first. 
I feel like it's something that they tried to hide from us, right? Demonic artifact, and I guess nothing else. Can I go through here? No. Okay. And so from here, we can actually see that there is something inside, so we know that we should be looking for this entrance. I'm also noticing that we have a lot of souls compared to what we had in, uh, in the beginning of the episode. I'm thinking maybe now we are in a section that has way more... Yeah. Way more souls per enemy, which is cool. Because I need to level up and I need to... Buy the other armor as well, just for completion purposes. I also probably should use uh, these claws a little bit more, seeing as our armor enchants those attacks. Ah! Oh fuck! Fucking Bane Links. Can I E you? No, I cannot. Can I. What can I do with you actually? Okay, I guess that is what I'm supposed to be doing with you. Fragment of Adamantine. Those hives, I wonder if you can destroy them somehow. Or if they are there to supposedly create more of these assholes. It also looks like there is a second floor to this area. But I'm not seeing any items or something like that, or enemies, so I'm not sure if it's uh, intended to go there. Man, I would not, be, I would not feel comfortable uh, touching that thing behind those teeth. Oh, it's actually here. Okay. <laughs> needed but looted I can sell it later if anything it looks like uh, selling those consumables is probably the best and the best thing to to do for me at the very least I I heard the gas escaping so I was thinking maybe it would explode if I hit it with fire loot This is something you may have noticed about me already. Uh, I don't really like consumables in RPGs and I don't like uh, crafting much. So crafting in this game and by crafting I mean just upgrading some of your equipment is actually a way to go for me. And since you can sell consumables I guess that that's Something that I should be doing as well. Okay, so these canisters do not blow up. Good to know. Can go there. Ooh, new Vulgrim? I don't know, feels, feels too soon to see another Vulgrim. But it's fine, it's fine. you ask of this this will be fun for both of us as you wish farewell for now <laughs> uh, 
Ah, I see, so angels are fighting people. Okay, that angel is dead. Ow. I was a little bit worried with that. Oh, so I'm guessing I will be using that thing to traverse uh, this acid shit. Oh, what? This is a new enemy, by the way, right? I don't think we have seen this uh, type of demons before. I guess I could use it to jump up there as well. Or there. No, that's probably not possible. Pos pos not possible. Um. Sorry, my stomach is rumbling. I think I actually should stop the recording soon and go eat something or something like that um. <laughs> that's that spear looked like a pointy hat and I was thinking is, is that like a gnome or something <laughs> I'm not sure this is something I can jump from Well, I guess we will find out if uh, we can actually kill this thing. Ow. Mm -hmm. Nothing up there. Come on. Oh, this is going to be annoying, isn't it? Fuck, wrong direction. Wrong direction. I want you to go there. Well, at least it moves. Uh, it moves a lot. I don't. Oh. We are in the water, I guess. Hmm. This is not a concern. Okay. Ow! It's a corrupted Griffon, and it killed me. Okay. <laughs> okay. With with uh, with that death in mind, I think. Uh, I think I will end the episode here. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you were entertained. Consider subscribing to my site. My plan is to play through a lot of games, both new, old and maybe even ancient. I would also like to start writing a blog regularly about movies, TV shows, books, comic books and hell whatever else comes to my mind i guess uh, since i'm trying to be a writer and game developer as well i will try to post some of my short stories or updates about games that i'm currently working on but don't worry if you subscribe i won't spam you with all of that uh, i will be sending out an update when i start a new playthrough with mention which game was finished before so you will know which game just got finished and can be binged without waiting for the next episode and you will know which game I'm playing currently and if it will 
interest you. And uh, I guess I will occasionally throw in a blog post that I'm very passionate about and really want you to read. This is mostly about some news that really concerns me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, subscribe. I've been Agitated Crane. Uh, goodbye.